All right, well, welcome to part two of our series on app smashing. And in this section, we are covering all the different ways that we can um, put apps together to get work accomplished and turned in by students. So in the first video, we looked at uh, using a digital canvas or drawing tool, and then we used uh, photos to then smash it and then upload it to Google Drive. And in this video, we're going to take a PDF image or a PDF document and we're going to upload it into another application called Notability. And from Notability, we are going to edit the document and then turn it into Google Drive. So it's all a seamless transition. So let's start by going ahead and going into our iTunes U course. And in our iTunes U course, we have uh, right under option number one here, the Moon Phases Worksheet. So we're going to go ahead and open this Moon Phases Worksheet. Now when we open the Moon Phases Worksheet, notice that there's really nothing that we can edit or work with in um, iTunes U. It just gives us a preview of the worksheet, but we can't actually do anything with it. Um, the only option we really have at this point besides looking at the document is to click up in the upper right hand corner where we have our share button and the share button is going to do what it does all the time. It's going to give us some additional options of places to move this document to. So you'll see here I've got a list of different choices. Um, I can move it into Evernote or Google Drive or uh, our option of notability. Now uh, it's important to note as a teacher you want to determine which app the students are using at all times. We are choosing to use notability because that was part of the assignment. Um, one of the mistakes teachers make is they will say, open this up in some sort of an annotation software and then edit and turn it in. Well, if you do that, you're going to get a lot of variety in what your actual completed projects look like. So you may want to just tell them, open this up in Notability or open this up in Annotate or open this up in Pages. You want to give them the specific app that you want it to be opened in. Let's go ahead and open it up in Notability. Now when we open this up in Notability, it's going to ask us if we want to add this to our collection of notes. Do we want to add a new note or do we want to um, just cancel this whole process? I'm going to go ahead and create a new note. And this is where you'll need a little bit of prerequisite skills in learning how to use one of these annotation programs. They're all fairly simple. Anytime you're selecting the finger, you are able to move in your document and you're able to also zoom in and out with your pinch motion. All right. Um, cut and paste and draw and those things are pretty similar. And also notice up there there's a little microphone over in the um, uh, slight right hand corner there. That allows you to actually record and, and talk about your paper. So this is one of those augmentation pieces that takes this uh, further than what a, a normal worksheet could be. If you take the time to put a worksheet into a digital format, I can now get an explanation from a student as, as to how that worksheet was completed. Let's start here real quick by um, doing our name and notice that what I use is the finger to zoom in and I'm going to use my pen and I'm going to go ahead and write my name. All right. And I'm going to go back to the finger and I'm going to zoom out. Now notice how nice and neat that looks. That looks really like writing would on a paper. So we're, we're able to do this the same way. Now, first moon is waxing. Let's see if I can remember this. So I'm going to draw my moon here. And I believe it is this is a waxing moon. I'm going to go ahead and click my finger out and zoom out. I'm going to zoom in here. Let's go ahead and grab our pencil tool again. I'm going to draw another one. And I believe waning is the opposite direction. Dark side over here. All right. So you can get the point. So we're able to draw and work with this document. Now, if we wanted to record, we'd be able to hit the record button here. And as I'm talking, it's actually recording whatever I'm saying. So I could also have the students describe what they did in audio. And that will actually attach itself to this document if I choose. So next step, we need to turn it in. So we've already used iTunes U to pull the document down to the student. The students now use Notability to open it up and work with it. Now it needs to go um, someplace where it can be graded. In these particular examples, we're using Google Drive because I think it's a fantastic way to do this. Now there's a share button 
Um, and this share button looks a little older. The, the old share button was this square looking um, button with the arrow kind of jumping out of it. The new one is a very um, small square button with the arrow going straight up. So a little bit different looking button. But it does the same thing. When I hit the share, you'll notice that there's a bunch of options that are available to me. One of those options being Google Drive. So if I click on Google Drive here, now I'm given some choices by the software app. Do I want to put it in which folder? And I'm going to say I want period 7 science. And we can go ahead and go back after we do that. Now right now I have it set to PDF, so it's only going to send the PDF uh, to Google Drive. If I wanted to include the recordings, I would have to click on that little button there. And now all of that recorded message that I, re I did when I was doing this document would actually go with it onto Google Drive. For this example, I'm just going to leave it as the PDF because that's what was requested of me by the teacher. Now I'm going to go ahead and say send to Google Drive. Now the very minute that this step is finished, that document lives in the student's Google Drive folder that they have shared with the teacher, meaning that the very minute that at that send to um, Google Drive has, has occurred and it got put into that folder, teacher has access to that and we're just going to show that off by going to Google Drive here and notice there it is waiting for us in this one student period 7 science folder let's go ahead and open it up and there we have it there's our our worked on worksheet it's not completed yet but it's worked on so hopefully this helps you understand how to work with a uh, a PDF document in the next videos we're going to cover a lot of other ways uh, to app smash so be sure to follow those and if you're having any questions about how we got up to this point please review some of the previous videos in this uh, course as they will kind of give you some some tips and tricks as to how we set up this Google Drive setup so that you can use it with your students